All right, hello and welcome to a very basic overview of CAT's Edline program. Um, so first to get into it, I'm sure you know, you go to ah, Community Teachers, which I'm already here, and then the Edline link is on the side. Once you are there, you enter your username and your password, um, or perhaps set up your account with technology if you don't, haven't already done that. And once you're at this screen, the first thing you need to do is go to Tools, and then you should have something that says Semester 1 Gradebook. Um, if you're teaching in high school, then for second semester there will be a different gradebook. If you are in secundaria or middle school, it will stay the same. So I click on that. I already have um, this particular program downloaded. If you don't, I believe there's an automatic option to download it right there. So I'm just going to click OK. If there isn't, please feel free to come to me and ask. I believe there is a link somewhere on the cat page, and I'm fairly certain I could find it if I was just given the time. So I get this little reminder that I need to update and send to Admin Plus. So I'm just going to say OK. And I, the first page you get is your homeroom, which will never have any students. So you can go to window up here and find your classes. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to assume that one is my first period class. And it looks like it is. So that's good. So first thing you're going to be asked to do is to take attendance. Very simple. It's over here um, on the left-hand side of your screen. You just click the attendance bubble, and then you have all of your students listed. If they're present, you do nothing. If someone's gone, you can click A for absent. If they're tardy, you can click T. And then, once you have checked your entire list, about my all 21 students, you go to File, Send Attendance. For some reason, we're always supposed to put the letter Z. So change it to Z, click OK, Ch don't change the date, and then your file name, you don't want to change that either, you want to leave it as is with that Z at the end, OK, and it should send me this message of confirmation. Now sometimes if there's a lot of people doing attendance at the same time, your attendance might not make it through, so I like to just do it again. So file, send attendance, Z, OK, OK. Okay, and there you have it. So that is attendance. Uh, the next skill we're going to go over is adding a test or an assignment. Um, Edline refers to all assignments as tests. All you have to do is click, I believe, anywhere, and then you get the you have clicked to the right of the last test column. So I click yes. So I guess you would have to make sure that you click to the right of whatever assignments are already in your gradebook. And some um, items are blocked, you just click OK, and then it asks you for your categories. I like to weight my categories, so... Oh, let me see how I do this. Oh no, I can't change anything. I will have to go back to that. Or not. For some reason, I do not have access. Okay. I really don't know what just happened there, but whatever. All right. So at the top, I have some asterisks so I can add my first assignment. I'm just going to put assign one short for assignment number one. Um, there is a character maximum there. I don't know what it is. But the long name, you have a lot more flexibility. So I can write assignment number one, and that all fits. I could even put page 351. Um, we're not in quarter two, but that is a default setting for some reason. Huh. Okay, term one's been frozen, so we're just going to go with two. Ah, uh, here we go. Category. So I have two. I have formative, which I forget. I just 
generally um, abbreviate to form. You can change the date. Um, sometimes if I'm really ambitious, I might predate something. So I can change it to Friday or I can change it to the 18th if I collected it on Monday, whatever you need to do. And then possible is the number of points possible. So let's just say this is a little 10 point assignment. Okay, now while I'm thinking of it, since I have this category of formative, let me just add another assignment called assignment two, and I'm just gonna copy that because I'm going to end up deleting these anyway. So my other category is summative. I abbreviate it with just sum double M. That's gonna be on the 20th, and that's also going to be 10 points. All right, so now I have two different categories. That's when I can go to grading, weighting, and they'll tell me I'm black from, oh, weight categories, there we go. <laughs> so now I can go to formative, and I usually do 25%. Make sure you click change. There's been times where I'm like, why are my grades so off? Well, I put in the number and clicked OK, and then it says you have category with zero. And I don't normally read all of those pop-ups because they get a little annoying, but if we go back to grading and waiting, you can see that even though I put the 75, it did not stay because I didn't click change. So make sure you click change. Now I am A-OK. -okay. All right, so then I can add in whatever numbers I need to give my students. If they all got 10 on this assignment, I can just do a quick left click, or excuse me, right click, and click on fill current column, and I can give them all 10s and click OK. Are you sure? Yes, I am. My students are awesome. Then you can see I have the subtotal of my formative category, the subtotal of my summative category is an asterisk because I haven't added anything. So let's do just some numbers. Oops, not 98. That would be way off. Oh, I have so many students. <laughs> OK, so and then you can see where I have the subtotal of summative here and then the subtotal of our second quarter. Apparently we're already in the second quarter. I'm sure technology will be fixing that later. <laughs> and then over here I have the year grade. I have view all quarters here. I could change it to show quarter two, which I like to do when we're in a specific quarter, just so I can focus on that. And then if you want to see their overall average for the year, that is view all quarters. Okay, so that is how you add grades. Now let's say I want to post these grades to Edline so that parents and students can see them. So you click Post to Edline and click on this little like world symbol. And I have some options. I can just send the one student um, I tend to do send several files. I will send an entire class all at once or all of my grades all at once. So I'm going to click OK there. And here I'm given all of my sections. Well, I was only playing with section one, so I'm just going to click them and OK. And then it lists all of my students. So I could select a couple if I only had a couple of kids who had grade changes. I think it's just easier to do select all click OK. Um, then you're asked to put a report description. So I would put English 9, um, quarter 1, progress, and I'm going to add the date. So it's 8 20, 2014. And then if I don't really want to send this report since they're all false grades, but if you sent the report, then it tells you that it's waiting and then that it was successful. But you'll see that someday, or I can help you with that if you need. All right, so I'm just going to exit out of that. 
And you also want to make sure that you go to File, Send. This is what people often forget. Send grades and skills to Administrators Plus. That's what that first pop-up window told us to do. This time you do nothing with this file name. You just click OK and it will give you that dialog box that says, OK, your report's been sent. But again, I don't want to send this false report, so I'm just going to click cancel and get out of that. All right, so that is the very, very basic as far as grades goes. Um, if you have any other questions, I can answer those in further videos, or you can just pop by my room anytime you need. Thanks for watching.